Okay, back in Illustrator. What I'm going to do now is create some simple graphics using just the simple shapes. So what I'm going to create is a cloud. And if you think about it, and if I look at my tools here, my simple shapes, which of these shapes can I use to create a cloud? And you're probably saying to yourself, well, an ellipse. Well, that's the one I'm going to select. I'm going to come up to the fill here and I'm going to choose kind of a light gray. I don't think I want a stroke, so I am going to click on no stroke. And I'm going to come into the document and I'm going to pull out an ellipse. I think I'll pull out another ellipse and yet another and maybe a smaller one right here. Maybe I'll make that one more circular by holding my shift key. All right, now what I'm going to do, and I think I'll move that here, maybe one more ellipse just to kind of round out that cloud a little bit more. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge all these shapes together because right now they're just a bunch of circles and ellipse, but I want them to be one object. So I'm going to select them all. I can pull out a selection to select them all. I'm going to come over to my Pathfinder and I'm going to choose the Unite button. Now this object is no longer multiple objects, it's now one object. Now I can modify this further, maybe I'm, I'm going to create kind of stylized clouds where all the bottoms of the clouds are just a, are straight. What I'm going to do is decide what object in my toolbar I can use as kind of a cutting object. What I could do is come and draw out a rectangle, put it on top of it, I'll just change the color just so you can see it a little bit better. And I can use this rectangle as a cutting object. I can select both objects and then I can use this tool in the Pathfinder to split them all into pieces. So I'm going to click on it. Keep in mind, once you use this tool, it groups your objects. So I'm going to select the object and go Object Ungroup. Now I can just get rid of the pieces I no longer want. Okay, I'm going to hit the Undo, kind of go back in time a little bit. Do that again. Okay, I can also use the line segment to be a cutting object. I can come in here and I can draw out a line across the clouds. If I want it to be an absolute straight horizontal line, I'm going to hold down my shift key and pull. I will add a stroke just so you can see it a little bit bigger. Maybe move it down a little bit. Now I can select those objects, come over to the Pathfinder, click on this first button in the second row, and that acts as a cutting tool. Again, I have to ungroup, so I'm going to go Object Ungroup. And now I have a cloud. I'll put that up in the sky, maybe scale it down. Next thing I'm going to draw is an ice cream cone. Now, what objects can I use in my simple shapes to create the cone of the ice cream cone. Hopefully you're saying to yourself the polygon tool. However, I don't want multiple sides but rather just three to make a triangle. So I'm going to select that tool, come into my document, make sure that my sides are three. There it is. I've got the triangle. I'm going to change the color to kind of a orange color. And what I want to do is make it larger, longer, wider, and I also want to rotate it. I can go to a corner and I can use my rotation tools. I can look at the numbers at the bottom to make sure I've got 180. Or what I could do is actually use the rotation tool and put 180 in there and hit OK. Either are fine, either method is fine. To create the scoops, what I'm going to do is make a series of small circles. I'm going to click, pull, hold down my shift key to create a circle. I'm going to change the color to maybe a strawberry color. I want to have a series of four 
So I'm going to grab this one rather than make the same circle again, not really knowing the size, rather I'm going to save a little bit of time and I'm going to copy this one and paste it three times. Oops. Try that again. Edit, copy, edit, paste. I'll do that again. Edit, paste, edit, paste. Now, the last time I pasted it, I actually put it right on top of this one, so it was kind of hidden to me. So I'm going to line these up. I'm actually going to use my alignment palette here to open this, go under Window Align. I'm going to select each of these circles using my Shift key to select through them. I'm going to align them to the top. I suppose I could do center as well. I could space them out equally. I think I'm going to make this a little bit bigger, my triangle. Okay. I'm going to put another scoop on the top a little bit bigger. I'm going to go to the ellipse tool again. Make sure that you've got the color that you need. I'll choose that pink again and I will pull out a scoop to put on the top. Now this ice cream cone is going to be a double scooped ice cream cone. Instead of doing all this again and just changing the colors, I think I will select all these elements. Again, I'm holding down my shift key to select through them. I am going to copy them, edit, copy, edit, paste, and I will change the colors of them all. I've got them all selected so I can just go to the fill and change the color of them all. So I've got a nice little ice cream cone here. Now, remember if you want an element to be on the top, you have to move its position. Illustrator will put whatever you draw or have drawn last on the top of everything else. If I want this on the top for some reason, I don't want to go object, let me have to have it selected, object, align, I'm sorry, object, arrange, bring to front. Don't really like the way that looks, so I'm going to put it back again. Object, arrange, send to back. 